Hello friends, one of those days where I just have zero inspiration or motivation to do anything and I'm not really sure why. If the article headline is not straightforward and completely transparent about what is happening in the article, you probably don't need to share it. Those types of headlines often come with a little too much unresearched information. And in terms of Christian clickbait, I think honestly sometimes Christians are the worst at this because we really want to find those inspirational, feel good, posts on the internet because we're trying to find something to get away from all the negativity and that's great. Let's not make a habit of ripping off the original creator who posted their video on YouTube by going to GodTube, which I know some people do, or sharing an article from a Christian website that is only recapping what the video has in it it's kind of cheating the original creator out of, first of all, the credit, second of all, the recognition of their talent or of their channel. And I also know that a lot of times Christians are wanting to find some kind of positive alternative to what can sometimes be not as great content on the internet. And that's why they go to those sites. But keep in mind, if it was not originally uploaded there, it is being stolen from the creator, unless the creator contributed it. That's not why I don't go to places like GodTube. I also just think YouTube is a pretty safe place if you know how to navigate smartly. All you do is click on content you know is safe which is partly because the thumbnail can be pretty telling or the title or the creator is usually somebody you can trust if you're clicking on it. While it applies to people who aren't sharing religious content, a lot of times Christians are the first offenders. So that's just a friendly reminder. Give credit where credit is due by sharing the exact link to a YouTube video or by only sharing articles that do not sensationalize a tiny detail in an article by putting it in a clickbait headline. I will see you guys tomorrow, and then Friday is another whirlwind trip to Orange City.